Today is November 8th. Um, nothing too exciting happened today. It's just Thursday. I had, um, actually, I have two things to talk about. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is that today in Korea, it's a national uh, Korean SATs. So um, if you're from the US or even Canada, you know what the SATs are. It's a standardized test where you take um, standardized aptitude tests, I think, where you take um, to determine where you go for college in the States. So I think in the States, it tests like math, English, and whatever. In Canada, we don't have that test, but in the States, it's a pretty big deal. Like your, the colleges and universities you apply to look at your SAT scores and your GPA and like whatever, blah, blah, blah. So in Korea, they can have the same national test. It's only once a year, um, but it's a pretty big deal. And in Korea, um, it's only once a year, as I said, for high school students in their last year. And then pretty much in Korean culture, it's so much pressure that whatever you get on this test pretty much determines what you'll be doing for the rest of your life. So these kids have so much pressure and uh, some stories I have about uh, the Korean SATs I've heard is that um, my friend who teaches at a high school uh, somewhere else in Korea, a few days ago her school actually had a ceremony. So where the, the, 10, the 10th and 11th grades or first and second year in high school here, they actually wrote good luck wishes to the, the, 12, the grade 12s uh, good luck wishes for the test and flew them as airplanes as kind of like a symbolic ceremony mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Um, and that's also so important that even though I teach at elementary school, um, all schools, um, the first period today actually got cancelled. So that way it will kind of like ease traffic and also um, create less commotion during that time. So to ensure that all these high school students get to their test on time. So most of those schools and most high schools had the whole day cancelled also to ensure no traffic. Um, someone commented on my status that uh, sometimes even the airplane traffic is uh, slowed down on these days. So it's a really big deal. And on my Facebook earlier, one girl who also teaches in Korea, she was saying how uh, when she went for work this morning, she saw a police officer with a high school girl, high school girl on his back of his uh, motorcycle rushing her to school. So it's just kind of a really big deal. Um, and also when I was talking to my coworkers about it, they were saying, like matter of fact, as in it's not a big deal, that every year, every year after the results come out, one to two Korean high school students actually commit suicide based on their scores and how low they were. So I don't know, that's kind of upsetting. I mean, like in Canada, we don't have that. But I mean, like even like for my finals during the high school, like there's a lot of pressure. And like um, I am Chinese, so is the part there is part I can understand the culture where um, if I had done bad, I kind of like was embarrassing and like embarrassing for family if I didn't get to university. Um, but I mean, like worst case scenario if I did get a really bad score uh, during my test and I didn't get into the university that my parents wanted me to get into it wouldn't be the end of the world but I did feel the pressure too so I, I can understand from my culture as well it's just sad to see that it's so much stronger here and so so prevalent in our society today where there are so many options that you can do it's just that they don't know about it um, and the second thing I want to talk about a total 180 is that today was one of my friend's birthday in Korea and she's a Canadian from Toronto and um, we go to his, went to his buffet, it's called Ashley's. They have like 72 locations just in Seoul. So um, it's definitely nice to check out, especially if you miss some American food and you want some fusion of Korean food too. It's at Ashley's, it's called Chain. And pretty much <coughs> it's an all you can eat barbecue of like Western food, Korean food, a mix. There's a dessert bar, there's a waffle bar, there's an ice cream bar. And it's all you can eat. And it closes at 11, stops serving food at 10. Um, but the best part about this um, buffet, if you like to drink, if you like to drink is that it's also all you can drink wine. Now, I'm not saying if you like wine, you should come because it's probably crappy wine, but I drink wine to get drunk, so I don't really mind it. It was nice, it was sweet, it was unlimited. So um, I also went to Ashley's tonight, um, really good buffet. So if you ever come to Korea, I definitely say check it out just for the heck of it. I mean, if you're here for one day, don't check it out. But I mean, if you're here for a long run and you well, want a buffet style meal, definitely go to Ashley's. It was 22,000 won for all you can eat, which I guess is a bit steep in Korean culture, but I mean, all you can drink wine, all you can eat food, you can sit as long as you want, it's just kind of a night atmosphere. Um, I don't know, it'd probably be a cool place to have a birthday. So that's my uh, vlog for today and that's it. All right, bye guys.